Social media can also be a really effective way to get a message across. It can connect you with a much larger audience than you could ever reach in visits to groups around your community. It can also, one of the things I think is most important about it is it can allow you to connect with others who are doing similar work, which can help sort of like inspire you and make you feel hopeful about big social problems. It can allow you to amplify voices or center voices that maybe aren't often heard on issues. And of course, there's lots of different options. Facebook, which can be a really good way to connect with community organizations, to build support for local events, and to connect with a broad international network. It might skew a little bit older. Um, you may find that 20-year-olds um, are not really on Facebook that much. It just depends. Instagram, of course, really focuses on images and photos. It's an amazing way to share compelling images that can help people understand a problem. It's also a great way to get inspired by people who are working on issues around the world. Some of my favorite sort of like internet friends in the world of plastic pollution, I've only met through Instagram. Twitter can be more about sort of pithy comments and breaking news. I'm not a huge fan of Twitter, though I am on it, but it can be a really great way to find information and connect with a broad network and to see what other kinds of projects people are doing. You should not underestimate TikTok. It's not all dances. It can connect you with a really robust network of people of all ages who want information about a topic and who want to share hints and tips and want to bolster the work of others. There are some really vibrant networks of environmentalists working on every aspect of the issue of plastic pollution on TikTok. So I would highly encourage you to check it out.